Well, uh, I guess it's not a surprise for uh, anybody here that we are totally overwhelmed about the amount of video that's uh, right now uh, uh, available online. And a um, big part of it was caused also, caused also by the fact that there was a big shift between just broadcast TV into watching TV anytime, anywhere. And currently, more than 60% of uh, the traffic on the internet is actually related to video. If you look at YouTube alone, it's about 300 hours uh, uploaded every minute, which about sums up uh, in two years' time, will sum up into about five million years uh, for a single person to be able to watch the content on YouTube, uh, which was uploaded uh, in a month. Um, and ultimately, as things start, uh, don't matter anymore. With so much content, with so much variety, things start looking all the same and we tend to watch the things that we anyway are going to watch and we don't find the things that we potentially would like to watch. Uh, and there is a constant fight and constant competition for our attention uh, and you can see exponential growth of content, exponential competition for our attention, but a quite a steady line of what we can actually pay attention to. And it's not just the volume of video, but it's also the hours, the length of the video that uh, uh, also competes for our attention. Uh, so uh, the engagement with video decreases significantly uh, when uh, the length of the video becomes longer than one or two minutes. And this creates extremely fast pace of uh, deciding what to watch, checking in less than 15 seconds, uh, uh, close to 50% of people need to make a decision or make a decision whether they will watch something or not. And in most cases, they would watch maximum one or two minutes out of content. So uh, this uh, basically creates a, a non-human scale problem anymore. Even though we are superior to any machine in understanding video content, understanding any type of visual content, we are not able anymore to deal with this variety, volume, and velocity of uh, video content. And we started working in Tagosaurus, uh, which is now part of Entertainment AI, uh, to work on making the experiences, improving these experiences, trying to change the way people interact and experience entertainment, uh, finding ways of non-obtrusive advertising, monetizing new ways uh, beyond just the, the advertisement as we know, and uh, most importantly, trying to granularize the video content, bringing it to the size that we can actually consume to the points which are, we are actually interested in seeing and making this experience personalized. So we created micro moments. We uh, process videos in order to identify interesting hotspots in the videos which can be converted then into actionable micro moments depending whether you want to buy something, whether you want to learn something, or whether you want to uh, just entertain yourself and watch something. And we embed those micro moments uh, with uh, contextual hyperlinks uh, uh, within the same video or across multiple videos in order to create uh, various story-like ex experiences and ultimately bundle everything up into what we call video snacks, personalized video snacks at the granularity where people can actually do pay attention to the content that is presented to them. Uh, and uh, to be able to uh, add also granularity, which allows to uh, adequately uh, share this uh, on the web. Uh, so we have done this uh, uh, together with multiple partners, BBC, New York Times, Bloomberg, HBO, Disney, and currently we're also looking into a very exciting market of uh, car enthusiasts. Uh, so this is uh, uh, an example of uh, what we did with HBO shows, trying to find video insights in TV shows uh, by uh, combining um, uh, humans and machines into a hybrid ecosystem uh, for enriching of the video content, uh, decomposing it into its basic elements, and then composing these new story-like experiences uh, in video uh, snacks and video summaries.
years. Uh, and we also tap a lot into uh, state of the art uh, uh, across uh, uh, here and also in Europe, uh, across different uh, research projects. Um, and that was it. So if you're interested, uh, come and find me to tell you more.